In this video, I'm going to quickly show you the difference between a stored procedure and a user-defined function so that you can get going on the right path to start your scripting skills. So what's the difference between a stored procedure and a user-defined function? It's a very good question because they do some similar things. So let's go in and check this out, okay? So the purpose and use of both are very similar, but there are just some, some distinctions here. So you typically you're going to use a stored procedure when you want to work with large, large things that you would script, like processes that would update tables and other elements of your database. You would use a function if you're looking to take maybe two parameters and do a quick calculation on those parameters and get a result or maybe just a quick little table of results. The key difference really is is that the the idea is that the user defined function is going to kind of stand on its own where the stored procedure can run all sorts of commands that affect the database. Okay, So if you're thinking about doing something that's going to transform your information in your system you're probably looking to use a start procedure. If you're looking to reduce some complexity in a expression or calculation, then I would be looking to use a user-defined function. So let's quickly look at some differences between the two from a mechanical point of view and, and see how they compare. So on the left-hand side, I have a stored procedure which will return the maximum date. And then on the right hand side, I have a similar function, but it's a user defined function to get the maximum date. All right, so when declaring sort of procedures versus UDFs, and you can see I'm using the shortcuts here, they're very similar. You'd say create proc, like max date or whatever name you'd want to use, and then you declare the parameters that are being brought into your procedure, in this case, date one and date two, and then what is your output? And we'll talk about that in a bit. With a user-defined function, you say create function, so there's a quick difference, not big, but a little one there, and then a name. So I had to give it a slightly different name just because I didn't want them to collide. And then you specify the parameters. So here it's real close, but notice that they're in parens. So slight syntax difference, not much. So now let's get the guts. What you're going to see that's a little different here is, is that the um, they're using the same like statements like if then, but I had to work around how they return data. So I'm going to talk about that in the next step. But bottom line, if you look, you can see it does a comparison. And then if one value is greater than another, it'll it'll set the uh, return value. Otherwise, you know, it sets the other return value. So it does, it's like, hey, date one's greater than date two. All right, so my maximum's gonna be day one. Otherwise, my maximum is date two. And if you look here, it's doing the same thing. Hey, date one's greater than date two. So my return value's date one. Otherwise, it's gonna be date two. And then it'll return it. Which really brings up the next thing, which is how do they return values? And and here's a, a key difference. So with a stored procedure, you define another parameter, and then you just specify it as an output. So you just see here on my, my parameter list, it's, I just tack on at the end, I called it return value. It could have been anything. I give it a data type, and then I'm saying output. And that just means that whatever value goes into this parameter can be then reachable or um, within scope of the calling um, script. Okay, so this is kind of how we're going to receive our results outside of this stored procedure. And then, as you saw earlier, to set this up, I when I'm going through my program, I just would set retval to whatever value I wanted to return. And then when the stored procedure would end, it's going to um, expose the return value. Now a function's a little different. How this works is that when you create the um, function definition, you say what it returns. You're gonna go, all right, my function returns a date. Okay, that's great, so you return a date. And then as you work through the function, 
the last statement in your user defined function is a return command and then you return a, a value which would be a date and that that's going to be the value that gets returned when max date is called so here you can see we, we actually have to set up then like a temporary holding value for um, our return and then as we go through our logic we we put our, our date into that holding value and then at the very end we'll say hey return that holding value and then that's what gets returned so you may be asking right now okay how does all this stuff get called and that is a very good question so here's one of the biggest differences that I can think of that you want to look at is how things are called so with a stored procedure notice how this when I call the stored procedure it's pretty much a command on the on the line onto itself so I declared the return value as date and then I, I literally execute the stored procedure and bringing in two dates to compare and then as it does the comparison it's going to send back the maximum date into the um, return value and then I will be able to select it and what's interesting is I have to declare this as output on both the calling side and the um, de decoration side of the sort procedure it's pretty interesting that way and if I do a select on this I would I would see the maximum value which would be may in this case now with a user-defined function look at how much simpler it is for this to get called it's almost like it's like built to be like in line in the select statement which it is I hear I got a select statement and I'm saying call my user defined function get max date oh by the way here's my two parameters you know April 23rd and May 2nd which one's greater boom what this will do is come back and display May 2nd as the greatest so this is almost acting like a built-in function right so if you were to look at what you can do and call with stored procedures you're gonna find that in a user defined function you can't call everything you're gonna find that stored procedures pretty much can call all the commands so they can call commands to do security update um, tables all the deterministic and non-deterministic functions they can call like random and things like that but a user defined function has restrictions so here's one of the key differences that's going to get you in trouble because you're going to go oh this will be a great user defined function and as you start to write it out the database will yell at you and go you know what you're trying to use the random function which is non-deterministic and you're not allowed to do that so what are the statements i can use in a user find a function declare so setting up variables assigning values to variables that's good surprisingly you can use cursor operations in a user defined function i do not recommend it but you can use it you can use control of flow if then begin while those types of statements but amazingly you can't use try catch don't ask me why but you would think you'd be able to do some error trapping in there but if, as of today you cannot do that type of error trapping you got to do some old school error trapping using um, on error go to you can have obviously do a select statement and you can do some update insert and deletes if what you're modifying are table variables that are local to your user defined function so you can do things to like maybe you know set up like um, temporary table variables to uh, build a result and then return that result as a table variable because a um, table variable type could be one of your return variables okay so if you if you think about what you can do as an allowed statement user defined function you, you see that they're cool they can help you but really they're uh, they are restricted so in conclusion here's a couple of things I want to summarize first of all I would use user defined functions to replace complicated expressions in your queries and avoid repeating um, complicated code they can help you to clean up your code and they can promote consistency so if you have this like really nasty like expression that calculates end of fiscal year it's a probably a perfect candidate to make into a user defined function I would use stored procedures when you want to automate a process right so you want to update one or more tables maybe wrap things into a transaction and if something 
um, doesn't, uh, you know, work or errors out with a try catch that you can roll back or you can commit, uh, use a stored procedure. If you want to do data transformations where you got a series of steps that you're pulling your data through and end result is you're, you got transformed data that maybe you're putting into a dimension or a fact table, good candidate for stored procedure. Uh, if you want to schedule database activities, obviously um, stored procedure is what you'd want to use for that. Or create utilities that use security functions because you're not going to be able to do those in user-defined functions. So my, my feeling is user-defined functions are really good to help you uh, minimize the complexity of complex expressions in your select statement. Otherwise, you're probably going to be using a stored procedure. If you have any questions or you have any other differences and opinions about this, let's put them in the comments and have a discussion about it. All right, take care.